Let's talk about Michelle Bauer, the scream queen who's been haunting B-movies since the 1980s like a ghost that just won't quit. And honestly, who would want her to? With a career that spans decades and a filmography longer than a CVS receipt, Bauer is the kind of actress who makes you wonder, how many chainsaws and haunted mansions does one woman need? Born in the sunny hills of Simi Valley, California, Bauer was destined for a life in front of the camera, or at least in front of something. With a mix of Mexican and Czechoslovakian heritage, she had the perfect blend of fiery passion and Eastern European stoicism, which, as it turns out, is ideal for running from deranged killers or battling vampires in skimpy outfits. Before Bauer was dodging machete-wielding maniacs, she was gracing the pages of Penthouse as the pet of the month in July 1981. Yes, that's right. Before she was screaming in horror flicks, she was making Jaws drop in an entirely different genre. But Penthouse was just the beginning. Bauer was about to take her talents to a whole new level, or at least a different kind of low. Under the name Pia Snow, Bauer dabbled in the adult film industry. Now, if you're thinking steamy, think again. These were the 1980s, a time when adult films had plot lines more convoluted than a Christopher Nolan movie. In Café Flesh, 1982, Bauer showcased her, ahem, acting skills. She insists she used a double for the sex scenes, proving that even in X-rated cinema, she had standards, ones that she'd eventually lower for B-movies. But hey, we all have our price. Michelle Bauer's big break in B-movies came when she dyed her hair black and took on the role of her career in The Tomb, 1986, directed by Fred Olin Ray. From there, it was all uphill or downhill, depending on how you look at it. Teaming up with fellow screen queens Linnea Quigley and Brink Stevens, Bauer became part of a trifecta that dominated the late 1980s horror scene. It was like the Golden Girls, but with more blood, boobs, and bad decisions. Bauer's filmography is a who's who of cult classics. She's been chased by maniacs in Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, 1988, battled the undead in Sorority Babes in the Slimeball Bolorama, 1988, and faced off against aliens, zombies, and anything else that could be rendered on a shoestring budget. If you've got a monster, a killer, or a terrible script, Michelle Bauer is your girl. But Bauer isn't just a scream queen, she's a survivor. After a failed marriage to a man who later tried to sue her for using his last name, she briefly rebranded herself as Michelle McClellan. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. Unfortunately, the press wasn't having it, and she quickly returned to Bauer. The irony of being sued over a name after starring in films where her biggest concern was avoiding death by Chainsaw isn't lost on anyone. In the 2011 documentary Screaming in High Heels, the rise and fall of the Scream Queen era, Bauer, along with Quigley and Stevens, reflected on their careers with the kind of wisdom that only comes from surviving decades of low-budget horror. They reunited in 2020 for a follow-up documentary, proving that even in their 60s, they're still the queens of screams, and apparently, of reunions. Michelle Bauer is living proof that while Hollywood may chew you up and spit you out, the B-movie industry will always be there with a chainsaw and a low-cut top. So here's to Michelle Bauer, the scream queen who turned B-movies into an art form, one blood-curdling scream at a time. Who's your daddy?